everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 110, the exact model is 110-14 IBR. The model name is an 80D6 that can be found in the BIOS or on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery for your laptop. If yours is not holding any more charge or just discharging really quick, this video is for you, how to replace it. The battery is this portion up there and you cannot just remove it because it's connected with the cables and there's a few screws. By replacing the battery, you're not gonna change any modification in the window, it's just pretty much plug and play. But there is a nice tip I will give you at the end of the video, how to keep your battery at the best performance state. And uh, you should be doing that a cycle once every couple of months to keep the battery in a good shape. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You want to grab out of the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. And from this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers and stuff like that. If not, grab the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Now, under here, we're gonna start from one corner and we're gonna remove all the screws and keep all the screws in one pile, as all of them, they are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward this part. I think I'm missing a screw here. All right, now that we remove the screws, first you wanna remove the uh, DVD drive or the caddy for the DVD drive. And we're gonna remove three more screws under here. These screws are short screws and they are flat headed screws like this they look just flat on the top as a more all right this is screw the whole base came out with it but it's really tight so don't worry about it if you don't even put it don't worry you can put a little glue in there epoxy and put it back yeah. Sometimes over time they can get really tightened up and you try to unscrew it just the whole base comes out with it It's just metal con with plastic All right, now just double check make sure you remove all the screws there two in the middle Now what you want to do you want to open up the screen a little bit And you want to stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that And all you want to do is just twist it Like that and it's going to separate the palm rest from the bottom cover do this all around in the front and go to the side a little bit, go to the back corner and now you can close it down and lift up the bottom cover, bring it up. There's a one in here and it will release itself. So there we have the inside of the laptop. The battery is still being held down by two screws right here. So we're gonna remove the screws on each corner one right here and one right on the other side. They already had two screws going from the bottom case, so I don't know why they had to put another two screws down here. And they could make it really easy and put a contact in here so you can just remove it. But once you remove it, just lift it up, move it around. And then, okay, just leave it right now. First, let's go ahead and disconnect. Just pull this cable backward towards the battery and it will release itself. Untangle it. Now I will open the screen and I will put it on one side. And the battery, let me see if it comes out which way it's going to come out. So I have to scoop it out or inward. I think there we go. So I'm going to push the battery from here, close it in 90 degree angle. There. I'm going to close that for the more. So just pretty much close it, I'll say, and then just pull it upward. There's a tiny hook in here. These hooks, you just grab it from here. So pretty much it slides inward, and those hooks just grab it. So it slides backward, and that's it. 
And let's go back to here. So the is a Lenovo. The model name is an L fifteen S three A zero two. I'll try to get the link for this one. It's not focusing, but it is right over there. It is very small letters right there. I'll try to repeat. It's a L fifteen S three A zero three. So I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Let's say that you got your new battery, it should come with this cable because this cable does not get detached from there. So you want to slide it inward from the back, all the way like that. And then make sure this tiny exposed pins on here has to face down and the flat side has to face upward. You want to slide it inside the connector, it's straight in, don't put it sideways. And pretty much I'm just pinching it inside the connector and right run down the cable right between these places and there we go put the two screws that you remove on the far corner sides of the battery once you're done with that all you need to do is just grab the bottom case bring it over I would like to scoop down the USB and HDMI port down first in 45 degree angle. Bring it in, push it down, and then push the rest, push the top, and you make sure you hear those nice click sounds. That's what you want to hear. Once you did that, all you want to do is just put the screws under the DVD drive first. And then you want to finish it up by putting up the rest of the screws on the bottom cover. And this one you can put a lot of epoxy. I'll go back on it and I'll put it. So now I'm going to finish up putting up the rest of the screws. Now, regarding the new battery that you have in there, once you put the new battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop. You just want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and let it charge, sit down and charge for at least four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and you want to make sure it discharge very slowly, bring the LCD brightness down to 50% like that. And once it's down to 30-20%, you want to power it off and leave it again for charging for another 3-4 to four hours. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery. Pretty much you're showing the limits, the high and the lows for the battery controller so you can exercise that initial charge and discharge. And you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep your battery at the best health possible, condition possible. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.